Well, good morning. We're doing a review. Um, I guess sort of a review. A little differently this morning. We're doing it in the car. Because um, I got this. My phone's actually mounted, just before you see it, in a um, iPhone mount that's suction cup to the windscreen, which is what is holding my iPhone right now. Um, but I find in the winter here, where it gets really cold, that the um, suction cup mounts have a tendency to let go when it gets cold and it can get really cold here like minus 20 minus 25 minus 30 sometimes um and the last thing you want is your phone falling off your dash just because you don't want your phone falling off your dash because that sucks uh, as well as uh just in case you're actually using it so you know you're using it to have your gps on and now all of a sudden your phone's sitting on the floor beside you and you have no idea where you're going so uh, i wanted to try something a little different so i ordered this online um, and the box came just, you can say, pretty beat up. So it's this here, okay? So it's a, a smartphone car holder, right? Mount smart, drive more safely. So you can tell where this probably came from, right? Um, made in China, box was pretty much falling apart. So um, let's look at what this is first. You can tell what it was is that it clamps onto the dash. now. Of course, on the ad, it says it's universal. Um, but you have to be aware that it's universal based on if you have a certain kind of dash. So it needs a dash for this piece to kind of clamp onto. Because um, our Tucson, which I'm in right now, kind of has that little piece on the dash. And uh, I'm just going to forewarn you, my Tucson's kind of dusty. So be aware ahead of time. I know, I need to clean it. Um, but we're going to take this out. You guys can see it inside the box. Honestly, I'm not expecting a whole lot. Empty, and that's it right there. Okay, no instruction manual, no nothing. So basically, what this does is you can see it's a it's a clamp, right? So that would go there, and this would go on a dash the lip of the car. So the hope is that that. That's could go wide. It, it can definitely says it can do, you know, like an iPhone Plus or a big Android or something like that. So uh, I'm going to put this on and uh, I'm going to switch cameras because, of course, I got to put the phone in it. So give me one sec. Okay, so my hopes was that I was going to put it there. But it wasn't happening because this piece here isn't deep enough. So when I look at the picture further, I hope you guys can see that. It's hard to tell. Um, you'll see that the picture kind of shows a steering wheel. So I was like, really? You want me to put it there? And that's kind of where they want you to put it. Now, I guess when you're driving, it's kind of right in front of you, like so. Um, but I'm not 100% sure I like that. It, it doesn't really obscure anything, because when you're driving, you kind of look right over top of it. And the bonus is, is that you don't have to look far or away, like way over here, to look at what's happening on your car so I'm gonna try it today and see what I think um, mounting of course ridiculously easy you just kinda clamp it underneath here um, and see uh, how that fits now that's an iPhone 7 Plus so definitely gets big enough for it but again we are gonna have to see if I like it sitting there so I'm gonna drive to work and back today with this map on and uh, I will take a look and see. All right, so you can kind of see the positioning of the GPS, and uh, it's it's actually ridiculously stable, which is great. Which is one of the things like your phone's not falling out of this for sure, right? So I'm driving right now, and uh, yeah, that the phone's not going to fall off the dash. It's not going to be anything. Honestly, unless I'm looking at it. I don't even realize it's there. Um, now, I would be a little concerned if you're shorter, right? You know, you see some of those uh, people that drive and they they look like they are barely can look over top of the dash or they're looking through their steering wheel or whatever it is. Um, this may not be the phone holder for you because you're gonna add the, you know, the width of your phone on top of your dash, so you're going to be stirring straight at that. If your line of sight is, you know, in the middle of your windshield or higher, which mine is, 
um, then this this should work really good, right? Um, yeah, I didn't think I would like having it there, but it's it's actually maybe even less distracting as when it's up kind of in the center of my windshield. So, who knew? Who knew? Right? Um, so, yeah, it's kind of nice. The only thing, of course, that's going to throw it off a little bit or th is if you're a person like me that, you know, me and my wife drive a lot and having the phone in the center uh, allows her to be able to access it when we're driving. So if we need to punch in a new address or if a text comes through or if she needs to change the music on it or she needs to do anything, she can reach the phone really easily and do that kind of stuff and then put it back um, not really the case here right so um, this really is for the driver and that's all right so but it's good as you can tell like I, I'm, I'm guessing you can tell is that I've been going over a whole bunch of bumps and the, usually the camera has a nice little shake to it and I don't think that's happening so yeah not bad at all I think I'll keep it. Yep. All right, guys. So that's the, uh, I don't even know, smartphone car hold. Smartphone car holder. Yeah, not that exciting a name. Um, you can get them for, you know, between five and 10 bucks online. Uh, I'll try to find the link from where I bought it and I'll put it down below. And uh, you guys can get one there if you feel like it. And uh, other than that, you know, like, comment, share. It's always appreciated. And, uh, We'll talk to y'all later. Okay, so I've just hi. I've decided to try it at night as well to see how distracting it is. So here it is, right here, and uh, we're gonna go for a ride. We're just leaving work, and uh, you guys can uh, see how it is. I got I got my map listed. Uh, or placed hasn't found me yet because of course I'm in a parkade and off we go and then when we get there we'll see uh, how distracting or non distracting it was Okay, so shooting from the iPhone again, and uh, you know, we tested it in the dark, and it's not horrible. I do say that you want to make sure that you turn your uh, screen brightness down because. Oh, it's really dark in here now. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'll just do this, maybe. There you go, a little bit better. Um, yeah, just because it can be a little distracting because if it's really bright, it's just sort of right in front of you. Um, so I turned my screen down a little bit after I stopped recording. Um, and it's good. So yeah, I'm pleased with it. It's not a horrible place to put it. And uh, I'll probably continue to use it, which is great. All right, guys, uh, again, as I said before, like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and we shall talk to you guys later. Have a good one.